Welcome to the Freedom to Create exhibition, an arts showcase that highlights art that can inspire, art that can change the world. I'm Malika Sarabhai and I'm delighted to be able to take you around this exhibition today. As a choreographer and performing artist and social activist, I have for 30 years used the arts to highlight issues that matter to us. Matters of gender and equity and human rights and violence. And as director of the Darpana Academy in Ahmedabad in India, we have tried everything to use the arts for change. But we are not the only one who believes this. Freedom to Create was set up in 2006 to harness the power of creativity and the arts for a more humane and just world. They believe that through creativity, the world can deal with problems of racism, of gender discrimination, and of many more issues that plague us. With an award of 100,000 US dollars, they give prizes spanning every genre of the arts. As part of this, they also highlight visual artists who have put their lives on the line to make a difference and speak about issues that often put them in danger. Freedom to create exhibitions combine powerful art with powerful social messaging. These exhibitions go around the world, focusing people's attention on issues that matter. They have been in Afghanistan and Zimbabwe, in London, New York and Cairo, and for the first time now in India. Let's go for the exhibition. A recurring theme in the freedom to create artworks is that of women's empowerment. Gender inequity is perhaps the greatest impediment to a sustainable world and freedom to create believes that by unleashing the power that can empower women, it can change the world. Many of the artists whose work is on display here show the same concern. Laura Bushnak is a Palestinian photographer born in Kuwait. Her work here highlights education and this series, I Read, I Write, highlights the importance of female literacy in the Arab world and the determination of women for literacy skills to improve their lives and situations. Her photographs show Egyptian women attending literacy classes in the illegal settlements of a Cairo suburb. Their recently acquired writing skills proudly displayed across the photographs. The women do not fear the camera or shy away from their unsteady script. Instead, they look straight into the camera with a firm resolve to obtain a better future for themselves. Through these works, Laura hopes to raise awareness of the need to provide equal opportunities for females across the world. The work is very important for me because for quite a time I've been longing to um, do something about position of Arab women. Um, so um, I tried to focus on education because it's the most important aspect in the development of the uh, Arab societies. Behind me we have horrific images of violence against women and the amazing grit of the survivors. These works depict the horrific consequences of acid attacks on women in Bangladesh. The women who have suffered senseless brutality refuse to be defeated. Disfigured by men whose sexual advances or marriage proposal they rejected, the shattered faces and lives of these courageous women are sensitively captured in these haunting images by a male photographer. Abir Abdullah is a photographer from Bangladesh who hopes to raise awareness through his photographs of the brutality of acid attacks on helpless women. Convincing the women who have been so treacherously treated by men to pose for a male photographer was not easy. But by winning their trust, Abir also hopes to prove to women that there are men who will fight their cause. Through his photography, he hopes to educate men to refrain from such cruelty and extremism. He hopes that the emotional impact of his photographs will inspire everyone to fight against this most barbaric form of domestic violence. These images tell us, uh, look what you, are, what you are doing to us. And these images uh, remind us, or the audience, or the readers, to raise questions about this uh, violence. Freedom to create also rewards artists who use their creativity to build peace-building activities. Lovetta draws on her memories of the Liberian civil war in which she lost her family and was forced to flee to a refugee camp. She recovered spent bullets which she found littered on the ground and melted them down and cast them into a leaf pendant on which she inscribed 
one simple word, life. Adult comic books don't get much funnier than this by German artist Maureen Burdock. Set in diverse locations from Mexico to Egypt, these graphic novellas are designed to increase awareness of women's struggles around the world and the need to eliminate gender injustices such as female infanticide, honor killings and sexual abuse. Maureen's drawings give a message of hope across geographical and cultural borders and suggest that everyone, especially women, can be superheroes in everyday situations. Afghanistan remains one of the most troubled areas in the world and many artists both inside the country and outside have tried to use their art to lessen the misery of the people. Amanullah Mojadati uses humor in the most amazing way. In his performance art piece, he highlights the lack of national security in Afghanistan and the incredible abuse of power by the police. He impersonates a policeman in Kabul and set up a fake checkpoint where rather than request the customary bribe from those he stopped, he gave out a small payment as an apology from the city of Kabul for any previous violations that they may have faced by policemen. He recorded people's disbelief as they were stopped at the fake checkpoint and recorded their feelings about power and corruption. Amanullah hopes to encourage more transparency in the dealings of the police and in the government of Afghanistan. Speaking out against corruption and social injustice can be a risky business for artists. And artists have been censored and threatened and even thrown into prison. Or when Maseko was first considered for the Imprisoned Artist Prize, when he brought out the atrocities that happened in the 1980s in Zimbabwe under the regime of Robert Mugabe. Local communities are still nervous about discussing the massacres publicly or commemorating the missing. But Owen Maseko used his exhibition to break the silence surrounding the conflict and give people a chance to tell the stories that are part of the hidden history of Zimbabwe. He hopes that greater openness will lead to reconciliation and national healing. He believes it's important for victims to have their suffering recognized through public discourse and that acknowledgement of past misdeeds is made. Owen was released and became the second runner-up in the main prize of the Freedom to Create Awards. There are many other artists in this exhibition with compelling tales to tell. Thank you for spending the time discovering these stories of courage, grit, survival and reconciliation. For more work, visit our site www.freedomtocreate.com and keep a watch out for this exhibition coming to your city.